Over the weekend, more protests popped up across the nation, calling for an immediate end to states' shelter-in-place orders. Here's what New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy said about reopening his economy too soon. Reopening our economy today would backfire on us in two respects. A large spike in COVID-19 cases and no customers at our stores because people are still fearful for their health and that of their kids and families. With us now is the former U.S. Senator and former Governor of New Hampshire, Judd Gregg. Governor, it's good to have you on the program. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Scott. Happy to be here. What do you make of the protests we're seeing in certain parts of the country? I think it's people's natural frustration. They want to do something. They want to get out and express themselves. Uh, but I think the governor of New Jersey has it right. I mean, this is, if you move too early, it really ends up being a cut off your nose to spite your face exercise because uh, you can just simply aggravate the spread of the virus. So uh, my view is that this is a decision that governors need to make. It needs to be made in the context of each state. All, st all, the, all Every state's different. New Hampshire's a heck of a lot different than New Jersey or New York. What we open in New Hampshire and when we open things in New Hampshire isn't going to have any relationship to what happens in New York City or around the metropolitan areas of New Jersey. So I think it's, it's really important that each governor uh, make these decisions and design them specifically, tailor them to their states and to where they think they can be constructive in getting things uh, getting people back to doing things which they need to do in order to make a living. Dr. Gottlieb, whom we just spoke with, seemed to suggest that Georgia's governor was moving too fast. They're going to begin opening their economy this Friday with, as I mentioned earlier, fitness centers and bowling alleys, among other things, to be followed by restaurants a few days later. Is that a mistake? Well, it's the governor's decision. Uh, I, I am a huge fan of Dr. Gottlieb and Dr. Fauci. And I would be more inclined to accept their thoughts on this uh, as the health experts. But really, governors make these decisions, and they pay the constant price for making a bad decision. Uh, my view, personally, is that you don't need to start opening recreational activity yet, that you need to focus on activity that creates economic movement uh, for people, uh, but not necessarily causes people to gather together. You know, this, this whole event has been very bifurcated. There are a lot of people in this country who can stay at home and work at home. And most of them are very, all right, have higher levels of education. They can use computers. They can do their jobs from home. It's the people who have to physically go out and work that are in trouble. And there are certain physical jobs that you can do that don't involve mass congregation. For example, construction. Uh, in many instances, isn't going to be involve a, a concentration of people. But there are other physical things like running a football game or, or running a bowling alley, I would think, that would cause people to gather too quickly uh, when the virus is still very virulent. Governor Gregg, it's great to have your insights. We'll talk to you again soon. I appreciate your time this evening. Thank you, Scott. That is Judd Gregg. He's the former senator and governor of the state of New Hampshire.